What's going on guys, Pop 101 here. Today I have a very special video for you. I'm showcasing a brand new commission of mine, the Voice Activation Mod. So stay tuned because this one gets pretty awesome. So as you guys know, Blade and Sorcerer has a ton of incredible features like being able to use a plethora of different mods, being able to use all these different weapons, and being able to use all these spells. So now what if I told you you didn't have to go into those menus anymore and you can finally do everything with only your voice? Now we have over a dozen different commands, so without further ado, let's get straight into them. And for one of the first and easiest commands, spawn ally. On, ta-da. We have our ally right here who's ready to fight with us. Yeah, but you have an ally. What, what's he gonna do? There's nobody to fight. Well, spawn enemy. Ta-da! And with this, we now have somebody for your ally to fight. But let's say they're getting on your nerves and you just want to kill them, get this over with. All you have to say is, kill all enemies. The enemy dies. Or if that's not what you really wanted to do, you want to get rid of everybody. Spawn enemy. Now we have an enemy and we have an ally right here. You say, kill everyone. Or... Let's say, just for example, you're fighting an enemy, you don't think one ally is enough, so, spawn enemy. All you need to do is, spawn army. <laughs> and you have an army of different guys to help you fight. But, you know, this is just too many for me. It's so much lag, right? So, what do you want to do? Well, we could kill all of them, or, hear me out, we could just do... Dismember everyone. <laughs> and you shred everybody in the arena to mincemeat. And of course, very quickly, they all despawn. Now, it, it's a bit overpowered. It's a ton of fun to use. I love being able to control these with my voice. Let me know if you guys have any suggestions down in the comments below, because I'd love to hear more commands and more things you'd like. But we're only part of the way through. So, without further ado... Oh my goodness, we have all these weapons just lying cluttered around. My game is starting to lag. Well, we can always just do despawn all items. And then every single item is gone. Look at that. And oh, I'm able to move around again. Now that there is no NPC limbs, no items floating around in the arena with all the rigid bodies clanging and clashing and causing us lag. That's great. But if we want to restart game, reload into our level or our arena that's actually really cool i didn't notice that that box just falls in like that interesting but anyways now that we've loaded back in let's say we want to oh i don't know fight that enemy versus a bunch of npcs again well spawn army you will regret this. now we have all of these lovely fellows right here and you know what let's just get rid of this lady she's kind of bothering me okay so we have all of these guys in the arena ready to fight. We have all these items around. Let's say they keep dying. They drop all their weapons. So, I don't know. Kill everyone. Okay, they die. They drop all their weapons. Spawn army. And just want to let you guys know, when you say that command, you spawn in between 7 and 14 different characters to help you fight. Or different allies, whatever you want to say. So we have all of these guys in here, all of these weapons, all the normal things in the arena. Now that, now that I think about this, this would probably really help in the Citadel map that has a lot of lag. But anyways, all we need to say is clean up. It gets rid of every single one of those NPCs. And every single one of those items that is causing you lag. And look at this. I am buttery smooth in this game. Ready to have a ton of fun. Now, here are a couple other ones that I thought were really, really fun. So just pay attention to this. Spawn enemy. And now that there's two of them, I don't think I can handle this alone. Freeze enemies. And as you guys can tell... They cannot move a single muscle. How cool is that? And then when we want them to come back, all we need to say is... Thaw enemies. They come back up. Come on. Spawn enemy. 
Oh, but now there's three of them. Well, freeze enemies. <laughs> oh my gosh, that's so cool. And, oh my goodness, we need a weapon. So why don't we just get something like, oh, I don't know. Let's just get this dagger before we go into the spawning commands. So, hear me out. We can kill them, and once they're dead, they can start moving again temporarily until they die again. And then, I just love the fact that they stay nice and frozen like this. This is super cool. Because they cannot move at all. Thought enemies. You will regret this. Dismember everyone. And they're toast. Super easy. Clean up. And yes, I'd highly recommend you use that command when they're dismembered or when they're dead and they're not moving out of the arena like they should because it really just helps a ton. Although, now that I think about it, we have all these decals in here too. I wonder if it would be a good idea to get rid of them as well. I'm glad I'm recording this. That's definitely something I can figure out. All right, but those are a couple of the more fun commands. Now, one that I'm sure you guys will all know is... Summon Common Dagger. Oh, look at that. We have the Common Dagger. And let's see. What are a bunch of the other names? I don't remember any of them. So let me just go in here and then see. Okay. The Antique Greatsword. We have our War Sword. So all we need to do is literally say whatever the name of it is that you see right here. So we say Summon XYZ, whatever the weapon is. So Summon Antique Greatsword. Ta-da! Summon Riding Sword. Ta-da! Uh, we can say, how about some of the Naruto weapons? Summon Shiki Saiken. Yeah, that's not a native English word, as far as I know. <laughs> so, I think it's super cool that it works regardless of what you say. Even if it's not native English, it can get a little bit buggy depending on what you say, though. So, I'd highly recommend you vary your pronunciation if that doesn't happen. So, for example, with what I just said, uh, take a look. This is how it's spelled. It's a bit tough. Um, but something else, we can also do names pretty easily. Oh, that's interesting. There we go. Okay. I guess that was just a little bug that happened. So, we want to do Jiraiya's Stone Sword. So, all we need to do is say, Summon Jiraiya's Stone Sword. How cool is that? All right. Now, along with those weapons, we can, of course, do any other weapon that we want. So, we have our Beam Sabers. So, now, one that I'm really curious to see if it'll work is this one that I'm sure you guys all know. We have our Lightsaber Whip. So, Summon Jormungandr. What the heck? Oh my gosh. I That was actually the first time I tried that, and I'm surprised that actually worked. That is dope. Because that is... Okay. All right. Summon Kill Ganon. No shot. All right. I'm actually more impressed with this than I thought. Go me. Okay. Now, keep in mind, this does use Unity's innate speech recognition it doesn't use windows so it is already built into it so there's no customizations nothing you need to do to, in order to get this working it's really it all you need to do is drop it in and play it detects whatever microphone you currently have active so it's pretty great now we've gone through the weapons morning and yeah i do really like that but there is one part of it which i really want to show you guys so just wait for this wait for this okay so spawn ally Okay, so we have this lady that decided to come and join us. Well, let's say, for example, she's fighting us. I don't want her to fight us yet. So we just spawned in an ally, but hear me out. If we say, random weapon. Oh, okay. That's, that's pretty unique. Random weapon. Oh, there's our lightsaber whip again. Random weapon. Oh, another. That's our lightsaber scythe. Random weapon. Yeah, so I, I did four of them. I'm sure you guys can tell. It is spawns in any weapon that is actually labeled as a weapon inside your Jasons. So it goes through all of them, modded or not. I figured it would just be a fun little thing to add because I was already doing all this and spawning weapons. 
So aside from that, we have my favorite part of this. Because yeah, Blade and Sorcery is a ton of fun, but it gets boring sometimes, right? So, you, we'll just get rid of you real quick, and we will say, spawn enemy. Freeze enemies. Oh, froze him mid-animation. You know what, I'm just going to leave with that. that. That was a lot of fun. Okay. But what I wanted to show you is the final ability of, I guess, summoning all of the weapons, which is random armory. You spawn in five different weapons right in front of you, and whichever one you choose is the one you get to keep. So, for example, I'll just do it like this. We grab this one, all four of the other ones get despawned, and now you get to choose this. Now it lets you choose one weapon out of the five absolutely random ones, I figured this was a fantastic part to include to this mod because it really helps with varying your gameplay. So, if we spawn enemy, random armory. Oh, I don't think so. Ooh. Never sees this coming. Or, maybe I don't want to do that. Random armory. Ooh, okay, check this out. Looks like, why don't we use Kempachi Zanpakuto? Spawn enemy. You stay down, lady. So, as you guys can tell, in order to get weapons, we say summon whatever it is. Spawning in people, we say spawn ally or spawn enemy. This works just as simple as that. Those are the only ones with a set word in front of whatever it's supposed to be. The rest are actually pretty simple. So, I mean, we're on this map, right? Yeah, it's pretty cool, but what if I don't want to play here? What if I actually want to play in the Citadel now? So, all we need to do is say, load Citadel. And check this out. It automatically takes us here, but, oh man. Let's see, am I actually lagging? I don't know. Let's find out. I'm still... Okay, so I'm down from 80 FPS to 50. Well, why don't we check this out? Let's see if it actually changes in real time. Clean up. Okay, everything is removed. And that easily gives us a bunch more extra FPS just to start. So, hey, that is absolutely incredible. So, but you know what? I don't want to play here. It's still pretty huge of a map. So, load arena. Now, yeah, loading maps, that, that's pretty cool, don't get me wrong, but what if you want to easily select one of your spells? Because, let's be honest, I have a ton of different spells right now. Well, all we need to do is, you know what? Spawn enemy. We're gonna get attacked by this lady, or better yet, why don't we, before we do spells, we do start wave. Okay, noticing the wave just started again, all the items spawn into our arena. But, of course, you know, that's going to cause lag, because we have a terrible system, right? Clean up. And she's gone. And the wave is, of course, still active. Summon common dagger. Thank you. Summon Kabatawari axe. Lady, I'm trying to record a video here. Come on. Okay. So, now she's doing that. Oh, she actually cut her own foot off. That's kind of awesome. Alright, in order to equip these spells, all we're going to need to do is fire. There we go. Lightning. Gravity. And it's as simple as that. You just say the name. Or, we can do the alternate ones. Fireball. Electricity. Gravitation. It really is that simple. It's so much fun to use. Or, for those of you that love Naruto, Chidori. <laughs> oh yeah. Or, you know what, that's, that's not strong enough for me. Why don't we just hearing it up? <laughs> Renegon. And there is a little bit of an indicator when you do actually equip the spell, your hands will both vibrate at the same time. So it's <laughs> it's super cool. Expansion Jutsu. Ah. 
Kamui. Oh, thank you. And of course, with the Kamui, you can also shoot out whatever we absorb. So, like that lady right there. Fireball Jutsu. Ama Tarasu. Oh, yeah. I'd say it works fairly well. Freeze enemies. Rosten Shuriken. Easy as pie. Huh. And what do you know? That's me. I don't think so, pal. Let's see, what other ones do we have? Ooh, Shadow Clone Jutsu. And honestly, my favorite part about this, I set it to custom spawn a specific different kind of Shadow Clone. Renegon. Check this out. We have Itachi's Crow Clones. I figured it would be a really, really fun thing to add. I think they came out pretty well. So yeah, those are some of the different commands we can use. And of course, we're still getting attacked by all the enemies that are spawning in. So we would say, start wave. And now we can say, to end it, we say, stop wave. And notice, she gone. Bye bye So guys, this is my ultimate voice command mod for Blade and Sorcery. You can find a link to it down below in the description. So if you guys like this video, please leave a like, comment, and subscribe. It helps out the channel a ton. Thanks for watching.